family, how y'all doing this evening? Welcome back to Country Catering. This your favorite chef, Chef Red. And tonight for dinner, we're going to do something real quick and simple, okay? We're going to make some Mexican street corn, my, my take on it, and we're just going to fry, fry up some little small chicken wings. Chicken rings is already seasoned up and marinating. We're going to take them out, bread them, go outside and fry them up. And we finna start on this um this Mexican street corn right quick. If I just so happen to have any Spanish um subscribers, if if it's not the right way, I apologize in advance. It's just my take on it. And um we finna go and get started. Right now. Got the pan getting smoking hot. Cause we want it, we wanna put a little char on that corn. So I can see my pan smoking. I don't know if you can see it in the um on the camera. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I want to hear right there. Once we get a nice little char on it, I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna add in um, some onions and garlic. And we're gonna go from there. All right, family, it don't got the color on it. We can't go too far because it get burnt. So, got my color on it. I already added my onions. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some garlic. And we're gonna take it off the heat. As soon as I go to smelling that garlic, I'm let it cook another 30, 30 to 30 seconds to 60 seconds. And then we're gonna put it in a bowl. Let it cool off a little bit. And that's a wrap. Now, I already made my sauce, so let me tell you what you need. Um, if you only if you only got a couple of cans, one or two cans of corn, or if you you scrape the um the, the corn off fresh off your fresh cob, ear of corn, whatever you want to call it, let's say you got six, you will only need two to three tablespoons of mayo, two to three tablespoons of sour cream, and um you want half a you want a little bit of lime juice, salt and pepper to taste. Um, I put but since I use four cans, I, I use a half a cup of mayo, half a cup of sour cream. I put in, um, I put in, where is it? I put in a half a teaspoon chili powder. I put in, um, what else I put in here? Oh. This normally don't go in here, but I added it because this is my version. I put in a teaspoon of this carne asada seasoning. And we got to squeeze in some fresh lime juice. And then we're going to top it. Once everything gets mixed together, we're going to top it off with a little. You're supposed to use cojito cheese. I don't have none of that. But something that's similar to it is grated Parmesan. And we're gonna add some of that to the to the mix, and we're gonna top it with some fresh fresh cilantro, and uh, we're gonna eat. Let me show you how it looking. This the sauce. We're gonna mix everything together, and um, once the corn cool down a little bit, and I go to mixing everything together, I'm gonna bring y'all back. All right, family, we outside. As y'all can see. Yep. So they get ready to drop their wings in their, in their grease.
tree. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this side down. And then just lay them in. You don't want to overcrowd your, your fire, because then it'll start frying, you'll be boiling it. All right, that good for right now. When we come out and I get ready to drop my net batch, I'll bring you back. All right, y'all, we done. We back. Look at that yellow up pimp. <laughs> y'all see how beautiful that is? Uh-huh. We finna fix the plate. Oh, let me show you the corn. The Mexican street corn. So that sauce I showed y'all earlier, I added that to it. Um I took a whole lime, cut it in half, squeezed that over in there, added in some parmesan cheese. I didn't add no salt at first now. Grated parmesan cheese is salty. So be careful when you do that, okay? And then added in some fresh cilantro, what you see. Stir that thing up. Add a little black pepper to it. Now we're going to fix a plate. Top it off with a little bit more of that Parmesan. To make it look like it be looking on corn, on, on the corn on the cob. Mine's, I'm going to hit it with a little um, Valentino. If you don't know what Valentino is, let me show you. Valentino is Mexican hot sauce. I'm not going to put it on all of it. It's not, it's not hot, hot. It got a little kick, maybe a little bit too hot for baby girl. So we're going to fix our plate. Now I bring y'all back, okay? Okay, y'all. They go to the finish result right here, the finished product. All right. They gone for a taste test. I know y'all ready. Listen. Ooh. Crispy. All right. Let's go for the corn first. Back that back so y'all can see. Ooh, wait. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Y'all. Oh, man. It's so much flavor. Oh, my wow. Wow, have mercy, Jesus. It's just an extremely burst of flavor. As soon as it hits your mouth, you're like, bam. You're like that right there. Ooh, we. Can you take the corn yet, baby girl? They go in for a wing. Mm. 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 Y'all look at it. Ooh, we. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey y'all, I got to end this video. Ooh, we Lord have mercy. Hey y'all, give this recipe a try. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy, and it's just an explosive amount of flavor. Y'all, you like what I'm doing? Hit that like button, subscribe. Comment, click that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a new video. And um, y'all have a blessed night. I'm out.